There are big things happening for tracking and masking in Silhouette 2025.5 to make core roto paint and comp tasks a lot easier. I'll take you through my pick of what's new and improved in this latest release, including new prompt based mask tools, dedicated face segmentation, and built in 3D camera tracking powered by synthesized technology. I'm Ben Browning for Box Effects. Let's get going. MaskML was a great way to select elements with just a single click. These elements now generate an individual object, which we can work with in a list. A big change is that when we send these to MattAssistML to do the auto animation, we can send it through as cryptomat data. Now, instead of one combined alpha mat, we maintain the flexibility to choose which elements we select throughout our comp. We can even export these out to be used in any other compositor that supports CryptoMap. And if you ever get bored of clicking, you can now use natural language prompts to select objects. Find cars, people, or just about any other object just by prompting. It even supports more complex semantic searches. This is scriptable if you need a workflow for more automated pipelines. The new FaceML node is an AI model exclusively used for segmenting faces. Choose which elements you need and out comes a fully animated mat on the other end. It's ideal for quick skin cleanup or to help drive and automate more complex workflows. To work most efficiently, each element outputs either as an alpha or straight through as cryptomat data for us to pick and choose when we need it. The 3D scene node has been greatly improved with the addition of its own 3D camera tracking capabilities powered by Synthize technology. You no longer need to rely on camera solves from other software. You can generate your own with a single click. Use this data to create 3D cards for fast, unprojected paint or composting work. Silhouette 2025.5 continues to push its AI capabilities forwards with new ML models and increased working speeds. With new node caching architecture, AI-powered mat tools are faster when working in both standalone and plug-in versions. And Denoise and Upres ML have new improved models to get great results of an even wider range of footage. If you're working on Windows with an NVIDIA RTX GPU, you also have access to the RTX Video Super Resolution model. These are just some of my favorites, and I haven't even spoken about the new Occlusion Mat Input, 3D Point 2D Tracker, or any of the scripting improvements either. I have made deeper dive tutorials into several of the features mentioned earlier, so if you want to see those, or find out all about what's new in Silhouette 2025.5, jump straight over to borisfx.com. I'll see you there.